Um, I know this is very different from what you're used to seeing, but, and I know I'm sitting in the car with a mask on, but I'm fixing to get out. So I've had to come on campus to take my finance exam and the rules of the campus is even if you're outside, you have to wear a mask. So, um, that's why I got my mask on. Um, so I am going to, um, show you guys parts of the campus of my university because actually this is like um one of the most beautiful campuses um they have a beautiful rose garden which is not in bloom right now obviously um but they have a beautiful beautiful rose garden and they have a lot of like just nice aesthetics and um flowering trees and stuff like that so i don't know what we're gonna see because i haven't been on campus in months like literally almost a year um i didn't have to come last semester on campus and um i think i only come like twice the semester before so they have supposed to have done some renovations and and whatnot um so we're gonna see what we can see Welcome to my channel. My name is Nikki. Thank you for stopping by. Um, let's mention a few things. First off, if you hear the cicadas and crickets and all that noise, it's because it's about one o'clock in the morning and I am sitting outside doing a voiceover because my dogs will not stop barking and you guys don't want to hear that. Um, and second, if my voice kind of goes out, um, when I was walking back to my car after I took my test, I got caught in the rain and every time I get rained on and like get under the AC, my voice just goes. Um, so that's the two elephants in the room. Um, but today's pour is going to be on a 16 by 20 canvas 
And this is an open cup technique. I like open cup techniques. I do them occasionally. Um, but I don't think I've ever posted a video demonstrating it on my channel. For no reason. Um, I just, it's one of those techniques that <clears throat> it doesn't come to mind. Like, it's not the first technique that comes to mind when you're like, oh, I want to paint something. It's just not one of the the first things that comes to mind. Um, and I guess that's why it's easily overlooked. It's very beginner friendly. So if you're new to paint pouring, um, this is a really easy technique to do. Um, in the end of um, the video, the final, um, the final result, results i show you guys the dried results the um that copper gold color from arteza it's my fault i got it too thin and it looked too thin when when i was looking at it in the cup and i knew i should have thickened it a little bit and i didn't and because i didn't when it dried it was like it's like you don't have enough pigment to pour a medium ratio and so um it pulls apart because there's not enough pigment to be distributed evenly um so i'll probably pour over this but i'll use the same color palette because i actually really like this color palette it's just i got my paint ratio to pour a medium a little off and it was it was just a little too thin um, but it does make some really cool effects and, um, it, it lets your colors be distinct in some portions, but whenever you, um, but when you pour it into the other, um, color, it kind of melds together. I, it's hard to explain, but it's some really pretty effects. Also, I used a um, iridescent color from Arteza, the fairy tale blue. It's an iridescent, and it has purple mica in it. And um, that mica kind of come out and created its own color. It shows up as purple in this pour, um, which is really interesting because there was no purple, and you can clearly see a purple. You can even see it now, starting to form. Um, so I thought that was, yeah, I thought that was a really, really, um, cool effect that I got from using that iridescent color. I'm really, I really like those, um, iridescents that I got from Arteza. Um, I think I'll order another set of them. I've used, I've used a lot of them. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of running low a little bit now, but, um, they're fun to play with. I think they're you know folk art's got the color shifts um i'm sure that you know other craft paints have got lines of iridescence but as far as um price point i do think the, the that set from art says is probably one of the most affordable um options and there's 10 colors in it and they're all pretty unique um i really like I can't remember what it's called, but it's the black one, and it's got like a gold reflect in it, and it's really, really nice. Um, I'm almost out of that one because I've used it several times. Um, I'm a little bit stingy with them though because they are, I mean, they're only two ounces. Um, but you know, I think the color shifts come in two ounce. You can get it in a four ounce though, but they're for what they are, they're pretty pricey in the four ounce containers. Um, I think Folk Art is very proud of their specialty paints. It's just like those treasure gold. I'm like, in what universe does it make sense for that four ounce bottle of paint to be $16? It will never make sense to me. Anyway, um, today is Saturday, the 10th of October. Um, I had planned on starting to work on my new project that is actually due Wednesday. Um, 
But then I got called into work and we had to go work and save the world um, or ruin someone's day, I guess. It depends on what end of the spectrum you're at. Um, but uh, yeah, so I worked like six hours, I think. Um, so I didn't get to start my new project, but I did get to read all the chapters, which was good. Um, as far as my exam that I took, uh, I didn't do well. And I just don't know. I mean, I don't know. I'm used to if I don't do well on a test, it's because I didn't make enough effort. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't study hard enough or whatever. But honestly, y'all, I studied like for 10 days straight, probably. 46 hours a day I studied for that exam and I studied the material that my professor told us to study but whenever I started taking the test it was like it it was completely foreign it was it didn't look the same and um I don't know I was it was a little bit um my anxiety was seriously out the roof from being on campus and being in a room with like people um and I'm just like waiting for somebody to cough you know um and then it was just I don't know and then whenever I start looking at these questions and I'm like they don't look familiar to me because they're not phrased the same way I'm just uh, I got overwhelmed or something I don't know but I didn't do well um no, we have three tests in that class and only two of them count toward our finals. So hopefully I can make it up with the next two. I mean, I have to, right? I don't have a choice. <laughs> um, but here you go. These are the up close dried results. I mean, wet results. We're not dry yet. They're wet and they're so, so, so pretty. That's why I'm, I'm really, I'm going to redo this pour in these same colors. It's just, I got to be more mindful of my paint consistency and you will see on the oh no wait I'm sorry I didn't mean to say goodbye um because here are the dried results and I'll zoom in really close and you guys can see um what I'm talking about you can see right there in that gold color how it just kind of pulls apart and it's because my paint was too thin and that's my fault it's not the product's fault but anyway I still thought it was worth showing so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you're staying healthy and safe wherever you are. Um, and I will speak with you all very soon.